Guys, in, Guys, this, in this video, video you will learn, learn how, how you can create, create an action, an action focus to your application, application automatically, automatically on receiving a specific, a specific kind, of kind of email. email. For that, For that guys, guys, we have connect, connected a feature, a feature of Tabli, Tabli Connect, connect which, which is called Email Parser, parser and Trigger, trigger which, is which is going to watch, watch our, our emails, emails in the inbox. In the inbox. And as, as, you, as you are going to receive, receive the email, email, a specific, a specific kind, of kind of email, email an, action an action will be created, created automatically, automatically in Focuster application, which we which have connected, connected here as the Action application. So Focuster is a task management and scheduling application. So we have created this automation with the help of Tabli Connect, which is Automation, automation tool, tool and we and can, we set, can up set up this without, without any coding, coding very, very easily. easily so let's so start. let's start so this is the landing page of pabli connect guys okay and we have pasted the same link in the description as well from here you can set up your free pabli connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations okay so you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that you have to sign in and reach the Pabli Connect product and you'll reach this dashboard of Pabli Connect. And guys here you have to click on this create workflow button. Okay and here you can give a suitable name to this automation workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as emails to focuster automation. So after giving the name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. All right. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So guys, uh, trigger is that event which is going to trigger this workflow or start this workflow and the action would be the response or consequence of the trigger. Okay. So here you have to connect that application in which the trigger event is occurring. So in our case, uh, receiving of a specific type of email will act as a trigger. So here we are going to use email parser feature of Pabli Connect. So click on email parser. And here you can see it has given us a email parsers address. So with the help of this address, we can uh, fetch emails that we are receiving in any email uh, application. And we can fetch those emails here in this workflow. Okay. For that, what you have to do, you can read the instructions. You have to add this address as the forwarding address inside your email inbox. Okay, so here I am using Gmail uh, to receive emails, guys. And I am under Gmail settings page. You can see I have clicked on settings. And when you click on settings, you will find this forwarding and pop IMAP option here. And when you click on this tab, you will find this add a forwarding address button. So when you click here, it will show you this field here. You can paste this uh, forwarding um, email parser address. So click on copy. Okay. And paste this address as the forwarding address here inside your Gmail inbox. Then click on next. Okay. And here it is asking to proceed. So click on proceed. And here you can see a confirmation code has been sent to this, e this email parsers address. So a sample email is delivered to the email parser's address and will be captured in the response section. Let me show you that. Here you can see in this response section, we got this kind of test data captured. Okay. It is showing the two label, two display label, two address label. And this means here we are going to receive the email address uh, on which we have received the email. Okay. And here it is asking from display label. This means uh, we are going to receive an email address from whom we have received the email. Okay. Similarly, you can find the subject label and all these things. And here we have this body text label as well. And here we are going to receive the text that we are receiving in the emails. And here you can see in this test uh, body text. Here we have got this confirmation code. Okay. And here you can see it is showing a confirmation code has been sent to this. So this is the code that we want. So you can just copy this code from here, from your workflow. Okay, then come back to the inbox and click on OK here. And here it is asking for the confirmation code, paste the code here. Like this, okay. Then click on verify button. Okay, so you can see the forwarding address has been verified by this inbox. And here you can, you have to click on this forward a copy of incoming emails to this address button 
click on it okay then scroll down and here you can click on save changes button and here you can see it started showing you are forwarding your emails to this address from now on okay so whenever a new mail is going to be received here a specific kind of mail the email parser is going to trigger and capture the data of that email and the workflow will start running okay so here what i'm going to do i am going to click on recapture email response button click on recapture then click on yes and it will start showing waiting for the parser's response again and now i am going to send an email to this email address in which i have applied the forwarder from my another email account okay so as i'm going to uh, send this email here the workflow is going to trigger and the email's data will be captured here okay so i'm going to my another gmail account from here i'm going to compose an email to this person in which i have added the forwarder and here I'm typing the subject. So guys, I have typed this email. You can see I am saying this is to inform you that a new task is waiting for you in Focus Tour. Please complete it and send the report at EOD. So this email is about a task which I want to assign to this person. Okay, so here I'm clicking on send. Okay, so I am sent the email. Now let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured of this email or not. So so here you can see we got the data captured like this and here it is showing us all the details related to the email like the from person's name the address and the subject and you can see all other things here also and in the body text you can see the whole text that i have sent as an email okay so guys this task is about uh, this email is about a task that i want to assign so so guys, let's say I want to uh, send this data into Focuster and create an action in Focuster only when we receive emails about task assignments. Okay, so I'm going to apply this condition here because we can receive many emails from many people, but I want to create actions in Focuster only when I receive a task assignment email. For that, I'm going to apply a filter condition here in this action step. Here you can see we have this filter, select filter here. So this filter is going to filter out those emails in which uh, the data is about the task. Okay, so here it is asking to select the label. So here we have received the labels in which we have the data. So I'm going to select the subject label from the previous step. So you just have to select click here and it will show you the previous step in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you all the data like this. From here, you can map the subject label. And here in the filter type, I'm going to make it contains. So whenever the subject contains the word task, then only I want the workflow to run and uh, create an action. So I'm putting in the value task word. Okay. So this means whenever the subject is going to contain task, the uh, workflow is going to continue and create an action. So click on save and send test request here. And here you can see the condition is showing true. Okay, so whenever the condition meets true, the workflow is going to continue and what it will do, it will create an action in Focuster. For that, just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up. From here, you can search for Focuster application. Here it is selected. And in the action event, you have to select create action button option and then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API key of Focuster that you can find in the settings section. Okay, so let me show you how you can find it. This is my Focuster applications dashboard. And here I have this profile icon. When you go here, it will show you the settings option. Click on settings. And under the settings on the left hand side panel, you will find this integrations option. Click on it. And here is the API key. So you can just click on copy from here and paste the key here in this field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with Focuster. okay and here it is asking for the title of the action the note uh, the uh, where you want to create this action the due date and the position so i'm going to use the data that we have received from the email uh, to create an action here so you just have to click here and it will show you the previous steps so from this email parser step i'm going to map the subject label as the title 
And for the note, I'm going to use the body text label that we have received in which we have received the email. This will act as a note. And here, let us uh, create this action into today list. Okay. You can provide a due date if you want. And in the position, you can select any position. Okay. So here now you can check your connection with Focuster by clicking on save and send test request and a new action will be created here inside uh, the Focuster. Okay. Let me show you. I am clicking on save and send test request. Okay. And here it started showing a new ID of action. Let us check in Focuster if we got a new action. So here you can see guys in this uh, today list we got a new action created uh, titled as new task assigned. Okay. And here you can see the notes as well. The note is the same you can see as the email I have delivered. Okay. Right. And this is the same thing that I have mapped here that got created here like this. So this is how it is going to work guys. This is how you can manage your task using focus to application automatically. And guys, you have to set up this automation only once after that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, whenever you are going to receive emails about a new task, the tasks, the actions will be created in Focuster and you can see that on Focuster application automatically and the workflow is going to run in the background. Okay, guys. And if you want to use this workflow, you can use that because I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly.